I would like to try something very special I found on YouTube and also on the internet. It's about using onion juice to cure alopecia. I have alopecia since I had apnea, which is now cured. I have lowered my cortisol levels. I'm using all sorts of vitamins and my hair has come back partially. I still miss some hair spots like here are some spots. Uh, my eyebrows, uh, well, there is there is a part missing here, and this is a very thin eyebrow. My hair on my head is almost gone. There are some white small hairs, but it's mainly bald. So uh, I made some engine juice with my uh, blender, and what you do is two times a day, you apply it. It's smelly. I am using uh, some uh, oil toilet to, to cover it, just so people don't smell it and it, I think I'm the only one who smells it. Uh, you apply it like this, two times a day, here's some bold spots, so here because it's a bold here. And I put some on my head. Now smell like a large onion. Two times a day. Uh, according to the research, you should see results in uh, two weeks' time, and after six weeks, it should be cured. It sounds ridiculous, and they claim a success rate about for men about 90% which even sounds more ridiculous because it's very hard to cure alopecia. But we know our onion juice is, is free, so it doesn't cost anything. Uh, it's worth a try. So I'll do make an update in two weeks time and see if there is a change. See you then. Hello, this is uh, part two of my uh, onion juice experiment video. Uh, we are now about uh, two and a half weeks further since I started uh, this experiment. I changed a few things. First of all, you have uh, two sorts of onion. You have this one, the, the white, the brown onion and the red one. This one has a uh, much more smell. So I am now making onion juice from the red onions. Uh, well, there's well, much less smell, so it's, it's much better for uh, to apply on your face or whatever, wherever you use it. Uh, second, I'm not using it on my whole head anymore, but just my eyebrows and these few bold spots to see if it works. And thirdly, uh, I am renewing the, or the onion juice every four or five days, since after a few days it starts smelling quite bad. The uh, smell becomes stronger and it's better than uh, to make new engine juice. Well, what are the results until now? Nothing, completely nothing. I had uh, no new hairs here, it's still very bold. Uh, I don't feel anything, I don't see anything. Also, these small spots here, still bold, no new hairs. So, the, the, according to the study, the, after two weeks, you should see some small hairs two and a half weeks now almost three weeks maybe i don't know uh, nothing so maybe i'm part of the five percent on which it didn't work we'll see i'm going to continue this experiment so the next video uh, will be at the end of the six weeks trial see you then bye well six weeks have passed the, I have stopped the experiment after five weeks because I was losing hair on my uh, left eyebrow and there's no regrow visible on the rest, uh, not here and also not here. Uh, my conclusion is that uh, to use engine juice to regrow hair does not work. Uh, in my case I even lost hair. Uh, well, as I've, I've tried other things in the past. I've tried uh, this. It's a uh, dermal roller. Tried it half for half a year, and also no effect.
I've tried minoxidil, no effect. What's, what has helped me is a proper diet. Uh, I'm not really into keto completely, but uh, I, I'm close to keto. So uh, that means uh, good fats, uh, good vegetables, and stay away from carbohydrates, carbon hydrates as much as possible. So I do some potatoes and I eat some bread, but not much. And very important is I stay away from sugar as much as possible. Another thing that has helped me a lot is uh, being conscious of my uh, cortisol level, my stress, and uh, to work on my stress. And there are a lot of videos on, uh, on YouTube about stress, how to lower your cortisol. I've tried a lot of things, you know, with, uh, uh, cold, I do cold water swimming, uh, I'll take cold showers, uh, be, uh, go to bed early, uh, get a good sleep. Uh, do sports, in, uh, cycling, running, uh, go to the gym, and I think all these things, everything I do is, is for, with one goal, uh, feel good, lower your stress, and I think uh, lowering your cortisol is the most important thing there is, uh, and I think it has helped me a lot. So if you are watching this video because you have alopecia or maybe another autoimmune disease, uh, these are the two things you should focus on. Uh, good diet, lose weight. I lost uh, a lot of weight uh, because of the diet I did. And keep your stress as low as possible. That means cortisol low, uh, also your insulin level low. Uh, and hopefully uh, this will help your body uh, to cure your autoimmune, autoimmune disease. So I hope this helped you and uh, good luck. Bye.